and even serve every year, May 15th, International Day of Families. For 1993, the United Nations and General Assembly, Yan Se Dengo, observe them as the day to take tackle, reflect the importance of the international community uh, with the attack to families as basic units for society, plus their concern for the situation of families around the world. And to join us inside the studio to put more light uh, now, Mr. Ubon King. Ubon King, the president of Ubon King Foundation, and him, a family orientation expert. Good morning, Mr. Ubon King. Good morning, Destiny. How about you now? Which levels? My body is a clot. How are you there too? Thank you, sir. You joined us inside news this morning. I just want to ask you some small, small information we concern this international uh, day for family, according uh, to United Nations. So, United Nations, the General Assembly, they don't realize the importance for the basic family system, and they don't even declare it 15 May as an international day for family. So, what can be your observation about the emphasis we then put in place for the importance of family system? Them for this part of the world. Well, first of all, it's good say when they talk about family now because family now the first thing we got put for ground and everybody supposed fall in life. When family work together, put themselves, structure themselves well, everything for the country, for the state, wherever they they be better. But when they no ever look that thing now, you go see say the whole state become the jabra on all sides. You go see boys where they commit for all girls where they make good for all because my family no put that structure in place. But if they put them in place, everything will sort themselves accordingly. Mm. So every time we hear say family, uh, they know they do whether they day all right. Um, so we they hear say what well, uh, family they day all right uh, and their system they bring badness for society. That is family we know they all right. Then they bring badness for society. So what's the factors where they threaten their Ogbonge family system? I, I think the, the, the first and the most important way the way they cause that problem, first of all, uh, the irresponsibility of parents. Then, okay. when parents not put the first structure to begin to teach their children values first. Mm -hmm. Now, you expect, say, when you send the children to school, your children will learn values. Not like, then go collect everything with this to bring come back. They do go, the bad, or everything bring come house. And if you know, check and cut the thing we're not supposed to then you will just expose children to anything they want to put to them. And when they this month at the best time to begin put that value, because as they grow, everything with their learn will just they mature, will they mature, will they, will they increase on all sides. So when you structure that thing well, when they, they grow, correct them, correct them, correct them, mm. the society will go better. If you don't correct them, the society will go there wrong. Mm. If you look again now, places like this, hunger, they always they teach people hard things. Okay. And when hunger day, people, parents will say, make their children go there also. Where they find their own money, whether they know they say as their mates, they bring mm. money. So that kind of child now go go out, even friend know they do things correct. They go just tag along. Anyhow, where the friend they make money, they go just follow they make money like that. Whether a guy or being a girl, then they come come back. After all, the mother or the father go chop, chop food, eat them. So that thing don't enter into system. So from one generation to the other, it just escalate. They go for they grow, they grow. And that's the with the sport culture. Mm. But if they do our well, it will reset mm. themselves. Mm. Okay, you they talk well. Uh, so how you think, say, these issues uh, where they raise, fit they address, especially now where the world, they fight this global uh, coronavirus pandemic? Okay, like, see, I'm going to tell you about my own house as an example. Mm. Uh, I know some my children, they go to school, they, they learn things well. But when I come back, me as the Palawede house and my wife as the Malawede house, mm. whenever they tell our children, so every day they go do presentation to us. They go they tell us one subject where we want to know, maybe about one technology, about mm. about life, or about, um, you know, different countries, about water, about air. Maybe they just go find out and come back, tell us about that. Mm. Okay. Mm, now, better thing. The better thing be that, Mr. Obon King, you they hear me? I don't hear you. I don't uh -huh. hear you. Now, but that thing what you they do. So during by this time now, where you be say schools no day on, uh, and um, now parents now, now be the teachers with students, I mean children they look up to. Uh, how you go take fit just balance this matter so that everything about family go still they catch up on top as they go? Well, um, as we look at them, I always advise parents that we look tomorrow. Now, tomorrow is important. Where we want where, where we want where our children to be tomorrow. If you want your child make it, you know, become a person where um, they go into one area, begin to expose that person into that area, make him they begin to see. Mm -hmm. Say, look, 
as you they do homework, begin to prepare yourself because the world don't they go fast, technology don't they move fast. True, Look true. at the size behind now. Not speed. Where are you going to? So where they begin to look that far. And no, it's not a function of maybe money where you get or money no way you don't get. That is the way they tell your child. Mm. Now the thing where your child go do. You don't talk to your child. Your child no go follow you. Thank you so much, Mr. Obon King. You give us better information for this small time, and we will take a yarn with you. Make you get to Bongedi. Thank you.